Hello, this is Crote. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Subnautica. I'll tell you what, I am very happy to be recording again. I've spent a little time gathering materials and uh, running around the base, and I'll tell you what, this freaking blinky message has been driving me nuts because I didn't want to answer it until I had you guys with me. So let's start by hearing the message. Sunbeam, broadcasting to all survivors of the Aurora. We've covered more than half the distance, so hold on in there. We're scanning the planet for dry land as we speak. You couldn't have picked a less convenient parking spot. But we'll be in touch as soon as we have a landing site for you. Sunbeam out. Yeah, that was uneventful. But, oh, other things I've done. I made the battery charger. And so now I have lots of batteries. Let me take these out of here. And put them batteries. Battery, okay. Alright, today, oh wait, I also caught a bunch of fish. And there's a new one, hoverfish. So we'll be able to eat those. And man, I'll tell you what, I'm having some allergy issues. Uh, hopefully I don't sneeze on video. I'm using push to talk, so I should be able to cut it out, but uh, please forgive me if that happens. Uh, we got some plants going. Uh, I think we did these when I was here. I put a couple pots over here for an extra, you know, fruits and water. Oh. Also, apparently if you eat too many of these fruits, it actually takes away health and food and water. So we'll have to try that sometime when I'm recording. Oh, today we wanted to build the, uh, see at the top, power 82 of 200. Uh, when it turns night, the solar panels are pretty worthless. And if I'm crafting a bunch of stuff on the fabricator, it will run out of power and that sucks so we're gonna make the uh, what's it called bioreactor right here lubricant and titanium so while I was offline I or uh, not recording I got the materials to make the lubricant which was I believe creep vine yeah seed clusters and where did I put it? Is it in here? Nope. Miscellaneous. Ah, there we go. Lubricant. And what was the other thing? Titanium times four. Yeah, we got plenty of that. One, two, three. All right, let's put this. I don't want to put it here because that's the where the big aquarium's gonna go. Let's put it out here. All right, a reliable power source. Uh, photo journal of your achievements. Okay. Uh, now we just gotta put some organic materials in it. I wonder if those creature eggs work. I mean, I, I want to save a couple of them for when we do get a tank, but these all look the same. Pick three of those. want to keep that one. Seed cluster, we can do that. Creature egg. Was that a floater? Yeah. Let's get, dump the floater. Table coral, we're going to hang on to that for now. I think this might be enough. We can also use fish. Let's do, let's see, one, two, three, four. Oh, I think we're already full, probably. Let's take a couple peepers, just in case. All right, oh, also we can throw the plant, the fruit and seeds and stuff in there, too. Let's see. Creep vine. What? Can only put organic items. Oh, wait a 
second. It took that creature egg, but it did not take that one. Okay. Floater, good. Peeper, good. Let's get some... Oh, look at that. The power is going up really fast, and it's up to 300 now. Let's get... Let's see. A couple fruit, maybe? Try one fruit, because they're huge. And... One of... Are those... Is that big, too? Yeah. Okay. Alright, we'll come back later and check and see which one of these get used up fastest, and then we'll know to get more of the others. Alright, you know, we should probably go check out Life Pod 19. And since our food and water is pretty full, let's, uh, let's take a... Oh wait, do we have any salt? No. Let's go out and get some salt. And then we'll cook up a little fish. And Welcome aboard, Captain. Get a get something to take on the road for food wise. I think there's salt right over the bottom here. Like we're gonna end up changing that power cell pretty soon too, six percent. Okay, sharks, yeah, there's some salt. I might sea glide, good. the sharks. The corks never hurt. Bleeder. Shark Jesus. Getting the Seamoth quick. You still coming, bro? I didn't think so. Let's see. Uh, four salt, that'll do. Remember to dump out that inventory, too. Oh, I put the, uh, Grav sphere over here. Looks like it caught a couple fish. There's not near as many fish over here, but there's some extra water fish for us when we need it. You know, yesterday I got out of the sea moth once and it ran into me and did damage. <laughs> Welcome aboard. So we'll have to watch out for that. Okay, creature eggs back in here. Oh, we got another message. Oh, can I take the fish out? I want to see hoverfish, 13, 9, 12, 5, 18, 7. Wow, peepers might be the boss. 12, 3. I think I'm going to save that hoverfish for the aquarium. I'll take one peeper and one whole fish, see how they do. Oh, I should take some water too. Little water. Bigger water. And a first aid kit. fill up on fruits and stuff before we leave. Actually, let's take 
a little water. Yeah, that helps. What do we got? 32 food, 21 food. Okay. So the peeper are definitely better. Automated stress signal, life pod 12, coordinates attached, warning, life pod is sunk behind, beyond safe diving distance. Do not attempt retrieval without submersible support. Well, that sounds very dangerous and something we might be interested in doing. Okay, let's get, what do we need, a little food, maybe a potato. And then a little bit of water. Volvo tree action. Perfect. Let's dump that uh, extra salt and crystal, I mean quartz. Crystal. It's been playing art too much. Salt. I'm just gonna put this scrap in here for now because it will turn into titanium eventually. I'm gonna try to get our. Actually, I'm gonna change the battery in the CMOS now. Dead one down here. Probably should turn those lights off. Oh, we got a new one. Take that with us. Okay. Oh, another thing. Uh, when I was out looking around, uh, sorry, I meant to do it when you were here, but <laughs> I scanned, I got a couple things. Um, the uh, Seamoth, or the upgrade station, which we can't actually use until we get a moon, moon pool, which came with a whole bunch of blueprints. Oh, and this, propulsion cannon. We definitely want to make that, because that is a badass gun. Let me see what else. Yeah, there's a vehicle modification station, and all this stuff came with that. And then, this is from the scanning station, which I think, yeah, I think we got that on video. And then all this stuff's from up on the, uh, on the island. I'd like to get these Ultra Glide fins, but there's another fabricator we need to get to be able to make those. So, let's see. Which log did we get? Uh, life pod 12. That one's 19. Where is 12? Oh, beyond 250 meters. 920? Oh, wait, I guess that's... <laughs> that's not 920 down. Uh, but I have a feeling that's something we're going to need the uh, Cyclops to be able to get. So, let's take a look around... I was getting the, uh, uh, the repulsion cannon fragments over here on the side of the uh, Aurora, so let's look down here for some new fragments. Actually, you know what? The piece of the Cyclops we need looks kind of like this, I think, but I don't think that's it. Nope. love to get that Cyclops going. Lots of metal scrap, salt. Looks like there's something in there. Yeah, that's another propulsion cannon. And we know if we get that, it'll just give us titanium. There's a little wreck of action up here. Use more of those. Although now that we have a battery charger, we don't need quite as 
many. Also, I replaced all the batteries in my uh, tools with fully charged ones. Now that we can charge them, I might as well keep them topped off. Let's hope we don't run into the crazy Leviathan. It's called a Reaper Leviathan. And we do not want to find that. Of course, these sharks are bad enough. Okay, that's propulsion cannon. Oh, there's something. More propulsion cannon. Actually, I wonder if this will say it when we get up close. No, not that one. But... No. Our transmitter. I guess we already got that. Come on, let me in. Something's running into me. Must be all these fish. Man, you know, I know we have lights and all, but I really don't like being out in un unfamiliar territory at night. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's, I'm glad to be here. Man, the propulsion cannon. You know, actually, there's something called a repulsion cannon. Let's see. No, repulsion cannon. but they sure don't look bright when you're looking at it. It's kind of hard to find the sea moth when you're blinded by it. Let me guess, propulsion cannon, yep. Come on, give me something new. Power transmitter. Hey, 
got it. Nice. Come on, hard to see sea moth. Okay, let's read about it. No, not the voice log. Uh, alien life form. Fauna. Herbivores, that's good. Jelly Ray. Inedible. Light, oh, it's light source, that's nice. Oh yeah, that thing really lights up. Cool. Oh, there's that life pod. Oh man, might as well head in that direction, but... I think if we... Man, I really don't want to run into that Leviathan again. Wait, we're at 172, and it's still down a ways. I really don't think we're going to be able to get to that until we get a pressure compensator or something. You know what we should do is go back, make the propulsion cannon, and then we can head on to the Aurora. That sounds like fun. Let's see if there's anything up here close to it on the way back. Yeah, Shark, I don't want your shit. Oh, what the hell? You think attacking me? Okay, back to the Madcap base. And I will be right back when we're about to build the propulsion cannon. Okay, we are back, and I just filled up my food and water. We're about to make the propulsion cannon, which required... wearing kit battery titanium I took the battery out of my uh, something and it's got 90% we're gonna use that one and it's gonna kick out it's gonna up when it builds a tool it's gonna come with a hundred percent charged battery if I had a zero percent one that's what I use but I charged them up already but before you have a battery charger it's a good way to basically get a free battery, a fully charged battery out of the deal. So let's make the propulsion cannon. Alrighty. Let's see. Uh, let's see, you know, I should probably not take all this stuff. Yeah, there's going to be 
a lot of crates and it's gonna have we're gonna have everything we need actually I'll hang on to the first aid kit just in case <laughs> I do something terrible early on <laughs> welcome aboard captain they're uh, pretty easy to replace but you definitely don't want to be somewhere without one when you need it. <clears throat> also, if we were to die over here, it would probably respawn us back at the base. Or even worse, at the life pod. That would be terrible. And then we would be in a world of hurt. So, let's head into the Aurora. Oh, crap. You know what? I forgot something I need. I am going to erase this, <laughs> skip over this last piece, and re-record it as if I didn't forget the repair tool. Okay, now we're ready to go. I think. I hope we have everything we need. We probably don't, but... Figure it out when we get there. Oh, you know what? I should have brought. Well, I'm not even going to say it. something we'll figure it out later oh, that looks terrible looks like a decent parking spot right here oh we got the little crab guys that's nice uh, man, there is a bunch of them. Well, we're going to get to test out the repulsion cannon. saw it. Alright, let's just pull the battery out. There we go. Man, I hear those little crabs. And they are freaking me the F out. Uh, water, we'll take it. 
There was a doorway around here somewhere. Let's go back down. I don't need to be up there where the fire is falling on my head. Did we miss it? Oh, you know what? I think. Let's see. I seem to remember climbing over something. Is that it? Do we get up there maybe? Right there. Oh. No, that don't seem to be it. This looks accessible. far enough. Okay, let's try going in a little farther. Yeah, there's another little platform over here. Yeah, I think I see a doorway. Bounced. 
into the fire. Man, it's so freaking dark. Let me check these crates real quick. I don't think I see anything in there. No, nope, empty crate. I see you, buddy. You ready to go swimming? In the fire. <laughs> okay, empty crate. Let's check these out down here. Seriously? Oh, wait. I see something. Battery. Nice. Man, we're going to go through a lot of batteries with this thing. Okay, what do we got here? The door is blocked. But that's never stopped me before. Okay, got a little fire. There's a fire extinguisher. Nice. Let us... swimming. Oh, yay. Electricity underwater. My favorite. Oh, I see something glowing. PDA. Integrate new PDA data. Oh, there's a keypad. Am I stuck? Are you serious? Oh, there's a keypad on that one too. Let's take a look here. Okay, I'm gonna get some air real quick. Lab access. 6483. Lab next to the data coil. Alright, let's try 6483. says me.
cut open to access. Uh, we don't have a laser cutter. Soup, and that goes into the same building. That's gonna make this a very short trip. Let's read that data pad real quick. Technical habitat. No, that's not it. Must be in the log. Blueprints have been updated. Those two. Still see. Oh, modification station. That's the thing we need to make the fins and some other better stuff. Stasis rifle. Yeah, we need to get that eventually. But crap, we need a laser cutter. Which is. Where, there it is. We need a diamond. Well, I guess I know what's on our agenda now. Let's get the F out of here. Pull up our... Let's see if we got any guys running around here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright, well, I will... First of all, I will check the time because we might be running long. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to cut, go look for a diamond. I'll bring you back if anything exciting happens. And then we will make the laser cutter. Here is a escape pod, which I don't know if we found, well, it looks like they're missing their thing there, but there's a PDA we didn't get yet. Oh, my foot's sticking out the hatch. Is that a first aid kit on the ground? We'll take it. Anything else? Can I have your fire extinguisher? No, I cannot. data later.
Might as well check the uh, communications relay well, before we go out. High priority automated a message from Laura Lifepod 13. Coordinates tax. Lifepod contains the last known remains of passenger emissary Jockey Kazar. I said Jockey Kazar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Whoops. That don't sound good. Sounds like a VIP though. Let's uh, move some coordinates around. Okay, let's keep that one out. Let's get rid of Sunk Beyond. Second Officer Keen, that might be worth something. Let's put that one in. Second officer that way, and Mongolian emissary that way. That one looks a lot deeper than this one. Let's head this direction. I think I might have an idea where to find a diamond. You know, over by our life pod, there was that volcanic eruption thing, and I'm gonna try to find that and. Maybe there's a diamond in there along the wall. I think it was this way. Just listen for the rumbling.
change that. Get in the dang thing. There we go. Thank you, lag, for almost killing me. We'll get copper, titanium, gold, silver, gold, quartz. No diamonds. First of all, we're definitely not going to do anything at night. And I was thinking we could take the Seamoth down there and get in one of those bigger caves in the side so we could have oxygen down there. But that's looking a little risky. I think what I'm going to do is check out... Wait, where's the Mongolian guy? Yeah, this one over here looks deeper, and this one's closer. Let's go check out this guy. See if he has anything for us. Hopefully it'll be daytime by the time I get there. Cause this nighttime bullshit is bullshit. fish.
hole I can get in. There it is. And we have a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Anything else in here? Nope. Looks like everybody had the same kind of wreck, except for the hole blown in the side. Where's our sea moth? There it is. Let's see here. Inventory. Log. Okay, I saw that. Data bank. Life pod. Life pod emissary voice log. Life pod systems online. Passenger 07 emissary is bored of the life pods. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Onboard microphones recording my creators, the cherisher, and the sustainers of worlds. Give me this day my daily goods. <laughs> He's praying. Entering planetary atmosphere. External temperature approaching critical. Show me the path. Blah, blah, blah. Find his power. I'm the one forever and ever. On and off and on again. Next. Interior hull damage sustained, life support system failed, impact imminent, life is a game which the universe plays with itself, I am done pretending to be merely this bundle of flesh, I'm ready to play for a different side. Ooh, sounds like he went to the dark side of the force. Life pod 4, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, spectroscope scanner assigned species designated Reaper, one specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. <laughs> Uh, retrieved a data box with the alien creature decoy blueprint and enough resources to fabricate a couple of decoys. Swims longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should be just enough to keep him busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated and save yourself. Uh, they found the Reaper, and that's what destroyed their pod. How nice. We've seen how that's possible. Okay. So, is there anything, any diamonds down here? That would be very useful. Might as well check it out while we're down here. What is that? It looks like new minerals. Lithium, nice. We do need some lithium. There's a bad guy. He did not look friendly at all. Looks like a very fast shark. Diamonds, where you at? Thanks for the lag. That's making this really easy. Okay, let's take a look around the sea moth again. Lithium, that's what we need to harden the base. So that's very useful. frames. Uh-oh, creature egg. I hope it wasn't a creature that... Yeah, it looks like a scary creature. Hopefully the mother's not gonna be pissed. Hey, what is that green stuff on the side? Uh, 
So I bet that's is that disease? Yeah, I bet it is. Don't run into my sea moth, buddy. We don't want we don't have any trouble with you. Just stay the F away. shark. Captain. Okay, there's the frames. Okay, I know we don't want to go straight up because that's sticking out. Let's go over a little. Let's see if we can go up a little. Maybe find some friendly outcrops. On top of this giant mushroom. Oh, diamond, jackpot, nice, two spaces left, Let's see if we can find another one. I had a feeling, and it paid off, ooh, is that a cave inside this thing? <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a really bad idea. that oxygen real quick. Lithium. Tree leech. Okay, that's probably bad. Let's go back to the seamoth before we suffocate. 30 seconds. And let's look up creature data. Flora, tree leech. Exploitable fungal enzymes. Fungus like growth, touch the other fauna, solves a hole in the skin of the host, leeches, nutrients, really. Outer teeth line draws for no identified purpose, may be used during a different stage of the organism's life cycle. Exploitable fungal enzymes. Well, now we gotta go back and get one. Actually, let's eat something. Clear up some inventory. Some water. Alright, now we got three spots. Probably dump that first aid kit too. Now, where was that hole in the side? Let's 
see if we can get one. See if we can get a piece. Nope. It's not as exploitable as we thought. Man, there sure are a bunch of them. Wow, this looks really scary. And a place that I don't want to get lost. So, we're going to put that off for another day. Maybe when we have a bunch of oxygen tanks. We got what we came for. Let's, uh... Get out while the getting's good, and go make that laser. Man, 78% health. We must be getting attacked by all sorts of creatures. Where is the madcap? There it is. Take the high road home. Well, now we know where diamonds are. Really freaking far away. Welcome aboard, Captain. of lithium, quartz, gold. Let's get rid of... Wait, was that lead? Or did I just... Oh, that one's lead. Okay. Shell sacks. Okay. Lithium. We're gonna need a new carton for lithium. Yeah, we'll put lithium in here for now. And um, silver. Okay, what well, else? Creature egg. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode. Once again, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and uh, leave a positive comment. I'd love to hear from you. 
See you next time.